Hi, Marsha. Why, well, hello, Kareem. Guess what we're gonna do today? What are we doing today? We're gonna learn bone parts. All right, yeah, I love bone parts. Totally bone parts. And we're first, we're gonna start off with uh, learning the difference between axial and appendicular right. skeleton. So we have a full skeleton here. We do. Then. What should we name him? All right, I think his name should be Herman. Herman? Herman, our skeleton, he's our, he's our model for today. Herman, say hello. Hello to the students. Oh, hello, Herman. So Herman's gonna show us um, what axial skeleton is. Oh, do you think Herman's up for the job? I think he is. All right, let's see if he's up for the job. So Herman is demonstrating here that he has a skull. All right, that's a good thing to have. Yeah. I think it holds our brain. Yeah, it holds the brain. And as part of the axial skeleton, it's you could say it's the top part of the axial skeleton. Should we say superior? It could be Right, superior. you have to be yeah. anatomically Absolutely. correct. Absolutely, the superior portion. And he has cranial bones. And he has facial bones as part of his skull. Then the other part of the axial skeleton is his rib cage. Okay, what's another name? What, what else can we call this? Thoracic cage. The thoracic cage. Yes. We could, we could, yeah, exactly. And then the uh, the last part of axial skeleton is the vertebral column. So if we're going all the way down. So that goes all the way down to the hips. It does, but the hips are not part of axial skeleton. So that means that we have to move on to appendicular skeleton. Yeah, taking a look taking at the back view. Back here view, of nice our back bone. Entire. Yeah, really cool. So the next thing that we're going to do is look at all of the bones, <clears throat> introductory speaking, of course, of our appendicular skeleton. So appendicular means he doesn't want to dance. That he doesn't want to dance. Really. <laughs> It means that the skeleton is not good at dancing. Actually, it means appendicular means appendages. And so when we think about the appendages of the body or appendicular skeleton, these are our upper limbs, so our arms and our hands, and the pectoral girdle, which connects the appendicular skeleton to the axial skeleton. So we have clavicle and we have scapula. So that's our pectoral girdle. The other part of our appendicular skeleton is our lower limbs, right? <clears throat> All the way, look at those nice long legs. Nice. Herman has some nice He's long, had some legs. long legs. Now we have to attach these long legs to the axial skeleton and we do that through the pelvic girdle, so the hips. He's a, he, he's hippie. He's, he's a, a hippie. hippie, Herman the hippie. <laughs> All right, so I think we are now going to move all the way down to the toes. There's Herman's toes, and we are going to sign out for now and bring you back with the skull.